it was like a week and a half ago. I did um, channeling for the church service, but uh, today I think I'll just do the usual and give you a healing if everybody's up for that. I'm just tuning in to you all. Divine Infinite Spirit. Thank you for being with us. For being one with us. We ask that we are clear. Center. Grounded, balanced, aligned. And filled with light. Love, peace, joy, and well-being. We ask for the help of the ascended beings, the masters, the guides, the angels, Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, Uriel, Ariel, Ezio, Metatron, Azrael, Zekia, Sinsha, Zakia, Master Christ, Master Buddha, all white beings that wish to participate in this healing. And I do feel the presence of a lot of archangels. Along with some intergalactic beings and some interdimensional beings that are here to help smooth our way into the future. So first there is an initiation. This initiation is to assist you in the rest of the year. By whispering in your ear, it has connected you with the part of yourself that can whisper in your ear, in your ear where you need to go next and what you need to do. And taking away trepidation, some of you have a lot of trepidation about what's going on in the world. But the world doesn't need you to feel sorry for it. The world needs you to celebrate its existence so that it too can be in a state of harmony and balance and peace because the people living on it come to a state of harmony and balance and peace. And then having an interactive relationship with where you live. And so the initiation is continuing creating the interactions that you need. And for those who've been lingering and not moving forward, it wants to hand you some tools to move forward. So 
some of us are in the same place we were a year ago. And that's okay if that's in your highest and best interest. But we have the feeling that some of us just need to pick up and move on. Go out. And blow. Some of you have places to go and people to meet. Some of you need to turn your hand at some projects that are life fulfilling, life sustaining. And some of you need to redirect your focus. Some of us are too focused on ourselves and a few of us are too focused on everybody else. So part of this interchange is putting it out and getting it back and putting it out and getting it back. Go out. And blow. For those who have any physical problems, it started a flow of physical healing energy. And it's particularly working on brain nervous system, clarity of thinking, Clarity of receiving information. So being a clear channel. And being able to take bits and pieces of information and put them together and use that in a positive way. See the patterns in it, whether it's your own or someone else's. And then there's more download from the intergalactic realm. There's this massive, massive being. is creating lines between where you are in this universe and where you are in your future and in other universes to consolidate the pieces of your soul and give you the clarity of your oversoul. Go out.
and hindrances of any kind began to fall away. Any blinders, any blockages, anything that impedes your progress as a multifaceted being of the multiverse. That includes letting you release old traumas, achieve better understandings, gain insight and depth in your ability to conceive yourself and grow. Because we can only be the us we can conceive of. But your conception can be vast and unfettered and powerful. And the reins are put in your hands, or tugging on the right strands of universal wisdom to feed yourself with. And increasing your ability to swallow and chew, or chew and swallow, whatever you take in in life, and then digest it, and pass it on through, and having taken the good out of it, and voided the bad, or the useless. So letting go of what you don't need and eating up what you do. And then I feel the nurturance of that energy as it allows that third chakra to do its work and take in elements of your life that were undigestible and make them into food for you. Hello. And blow.
and then it's moving into your individual muscles and where we're all a little uptight. Is making sure we're not. It's hard to react and respond to the world with fluidity and adaptability if our muscles are tight and we are uptight. It's also working with good mobility. Being more mobile as we continue to go forward in life. And carrying our daily task, not as a load, but as something to be joyful about. Doing the dishes can be fun. Blow out. I don't know about you, but I sing old songs while I do the dishes. <laughs> Blow. It's whistling while you work, I guess. <laughs> Good. And then we're harmonizing everyone together here. All of you harmonizing with each other so that you become more of a force. So that then we are all contributing all the healing we're receiving around in a circle to each other. And that's even more stimulating. And it has all the wonderful qualities of the other person where we can feel it. Because this is an amazing group of people. High-quality healers, good people, people who want what's best in the world, and people who try to make a difference. What a thing to share. What a thing to be connected to. And the intergalactic being who never has told me his name is... Yeah, 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 he likes that. He's all in, he says. I'm all in. <laughs> Blow out. And then that interdimensional flow is being strengthened. And it is rushing through you as another form of life force. You may heat up as this one comes in. If you feel any heat down in the lower part of you, my man. Yeah, I'm feeling it too. And building up your passion. Getting you more passionate about living. About having life to live. So often we wish we didn't have to do this. Or wish we didn't have to do that. Or wish it was already done. And we just don't get out and live. Because we're wishing we had something different. So this is about being able to put your feet on the ground and go out there and dig in and do the living. With joy in your heart. And a passion for the growth of all things. Whether it's raising some flowers or raising some animals or raising some grandchildren or 
watching your adult children grow up or putting your house back together <laughs> blow out and blow and then there's a soothing energy from in and from master christ it has so much love in it the master of compassion and he understands all of us he says and has compassion for where we are and for where we want to be. And he will hold your hand and help you get there. Just ask him. Because he wants nothing more than for you to be where you want to be. In a good place. Safe and warm and cozy. With love in your life. Glow. And blow. And in your third chakra, that place where all of our fear arises, where we settle for feeling incomplete, it's working on your understanding of how to feel complete how to join in with all the life force in the universe and all the great teachers and masters who want nothing more than to help us along into our future into the highest and best use of us by ourselves, not somebody else's highest and best use of us, but the highest and best use that we have for us. That our soul is able to bring forth in us the things that make us feel fulfilled. The things that make us sit at the end of our life and say, this was a good one. I lived it well. And life was a gift to me, and I was a gift to life. Blow out. And more of that uncertainty floats out of you. Part of that undigestible material that says you can't or you won't. Or that might not be possible when it truly is. So coming to trust all our possibilities.
blow out. And releases a sorrow. There is no one here who hasn't mourned. And it's helping you through your final stages of mourning. Reaching a greater state of independence. Not looking to your past for meaning. <laughs> but looking to the here and now and looking to you to define your meaning, not your past. So that you're not enthralled with it or held by it or tied up in it. <laughs> Thank you. Blow out. And blow. And then this uh, tendency that almost everyone has to feel a little sorry for yourself at times. And then kind of settle there. And feel a little lost in it. It's working on that so that none of us has to stay there. And we can move on to the blessings. and the full opportunity that life brings us. Seeing the good in all things and making good out of all things because that's something all of us can do. We always have that choice. like taking a glass and breaking it, dropped it on the sink and it broke. And you can say, oh, I lost my glass. Oh, dear me, I might get cut. Or you can pick up the pieces and say, well, that was a good glass. And uh, I think I'll turn it into uh, uh, some mosaic. <laughs> Make something beautiful out of it. I just toss it in the trash and not care <laughs> because it's gone and you're moving on. Either way, it's okay. Blow out.
Neil, your outfit reminds me of uh, the Enterprise crew, <laughs> Star Trek, Captain Kirk, <laughs> with the gold shirt and the black pants. <laughs> Out. And your skulls are expanding. How many can feel that? I especially feel it right here. It's like mm -hmm. I'm lifting up and out, and and from there your crown expands and connects up and outward and down and around. And your own crown feeds you. There is a fountain. Build the flow. <laughs> and inside of your body, your liquids are starting to bubble. It's like pouring peroxide through you. And anything toxic, whether emotional or mental, or physical begins to bubble out of you. And it's working through the brain. And anywhere it finds where old trauma settled in our brain, it's taking the little trauma packets and connecting them like a little choo-choo train and leading them out of our head. So train departing the station. I can feel sinuses clearing, eyes being worked on, anything from here to here, and even up here. A lot of clearing around ears. Um, someone has noise in their head. It's working on that, like a buzz in their head.
some patties. Anna says we're joining besides mom. <laughs> Blow out, and then in the throat, it's repackaging the thought forms in your throat. So many of us put ourselves down without realizing it. I can't. I could never. How could I? I don't think I can. When you have everything in you that you need to do whatever you decide to do. So it's repackaging what's stuck there as these thought forms of, I can't do it. Well, yes, you can. You got the power. In you. few more song lyrics. Blow out. And where your heart has long been tender and filled with compassion for others, it wants to unencumber your heart from what it has done with its tenderness, where it collects other people's sorrows and pain and holds them for the other person but that doesn't help the other person because then they just feel more pain and sorrow. So we empathize with and show them how to let go of their pain and sorrow without holding any of it for them. And it's not that you take on their energy. It's that you're so empathetic with them that you change your energy to know their sorrow. So many of you have been a master of empathy and now you will master it even further. Knowing enough to just feel what they have without encompassing what they have. Blow out. Healthy empathy. It doesn't mean the person means less to you. It means you're better prepared to fully help them. Like you're standing on the beach and throwing them the pole and pulling them out of the water, as opposed to wading in half drowning with them. So the back of your heart clears and you are also cleared of the need to be a savior. Because none of us needs to do that. Somebody's already been there, done that. <laughs> we don't have to. And 
in this, we are blessed. This is a blessing from God where you can help people along the way without dragging them out of the water by getting in the water with them. And we are given tools further tools for helping people along the way. Our tongues, our words, the uplifting quality that we bring to any situation. Our ability to love all further enhanced as the tools we use to help the world. The ability to slip into the sublime and help other people feel it. to remind them of who they are. Celestial beings all at home on the earth and deeply intertwined with the earth as the place where we live. Hello. And I feel the stars aligning around you. As you progress through your astrological profile. Because all of us are on a journey of becoming our sun sign. all the best qualities of our sun sign. And thus we are influenced every day to try to achieve that. Go out. And blow. Sorry, I can't turn it off. I don't know how. I'm from Florida, seven one three four nine. I'm from Florida, seven one three four nine. I'm from Florida, seven. I just cut them off. And as I was mentioning the star signs, I kept seeing the hanged man and that we are living in a time of the hanged man. And that it has two meanings, one upright, and I did see it as upright, pause, surrender, letting go, and a new perspective. 
In reverse, it's delays, resistance, stalling, and indecision. So let's make sure everybody's hanged man is standing upright. <laughs> or the card, anyway. <laughs> it's a lot easier. And I feel energy moving through us associated with that. This aligns us even better with our future and the future that allows us to reach potential. Every level of potential that we want to in this lifetime which we cannot do if we do not move. If we resist flow. Lots of clearings. So we're going to be all we can be. But in the army of God. More clearing and a lot of red stuff leaving people. Not a healthy red stuff, but old red stuff. Old anger, old frustration, old fear. Old sense of justification for not moving. But if we are standing in life flow, and life flow is moving, and we do not. Then what do we do? We dam up the works. You just got to lay down in the flow and go with it. Along for the ride. And everywhere life flow deposits you for a minute, you go there and make it better. You go shine your light on it. And this is the path of fulfillment. Go out. Sounds good, Donna. She sent me a message. Blow out. And now the energy wants to go up in your crown and in your heart and in your DNA. And in every place in you where you have talent that you have not fully brought forth. Either you didn't know about it, 
or you didn't think it was important or that people would want it. For whatever reason, this talent has been put on a shelf. And it's reawakening it in you. It's like your little talents going, oh, I just woke up. <laughs> Here I am, oh, gotta get sleep on bus. <laughs> Stretching. And I can feel everywhere the talent is coalescing. And then humming inside of you. It's like, yay, put me to use. For some of you, it's artistic. For others, it's organization. Be more organized. And um, creating an organization around yourself like um, inspiring other people to do things passing along your inspiration so that people organize around things and ideas and help carry them out. For some of you, it's a gift for meeting and greeting that you didn't know you had. Or that slowly went to sleep and is now waking back up. Blow out. At least one of you has a gift of gab. You must have kissed the Blarney Stone at some point. And your voice is needed. Half the people in the world are terrified. And they don't need to be. Because they cower in their terror. Then they lash out at other people because they feel a need to defend themselves. And that's half the problem that we're having right now. We just need to embrace and love each other and accept we're all different and that's great. And that everybody's entitled to their opinion, their opinion and that's great. Takes all kinds. But harming others should not be allowed. And in so doing, we destroy our own soul. We beat it, we whip it, we put it into submission so that it can never shine for us or help to dictate our actions. Because we're too afraid. Too afraid to be free. And that's what we fight against every day. Just by loving. And speaking our truth. And so your tongues are loosened. 
and you're set free of your fear. Because in everyone loving, we push back the tide. You're a great group. Push it back. It's a wave of fear. Have no fear, and the tide can't move further. Fear the tide, and you will be swamped by it. Blow out. And the intergalactic dude is saying, I'm here to help with that. And so he gives you another initiation. How many of you remember Big Green Guy? So big green guy is here and he's joined with the intergalactic dude. So we got big intergalactic dude and big green guy and big green guy is contributing how to blossom the earth. Giving everything a chance to grow and survive. Not only to survive but to blossom. Blow out. No bark. No bark. Gabriel, so we'll, we'll ask Big Green Guy to touch Gabriel over there and see if he can uh, bring him into alignment as well. He's speaking his truth. Yeah, I guess he is, the dog on the street. <laughs> Well, I can't even send him into my bedroom because it's got a bathtub and a toilet and a sink and the floor. <laughs> <laughs> it's been so much fun. <laughs> Blow out. And I mean that. I've had a lot of fun redecorating my house. I was sitting in the newly tile shower that still doesn't have grout on it yet last night, looking at the paintings that I want to put in my bathroom. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. <laughs> Well, I knew it two hours had gone by. <laughs> Blow out. It's clearing everyone's lymph nodes.
is working on some people who have a few cancer cells and clearing those and making sure their lymph node does its job and their body stays strong. Who is it that has cyst? I think I still have one here. It's working on it. Mm -hmm. It's working on cyst. Thank you. Yeah. And I've got a benign nodule on my lung. Yeah, I feel it working in a number of people's lungs for different reasons. Not everyone's for the same reason. And it's uh, doing cardiovascular work. Memory work. Being able to remember why you walked into the room and where you put your keys. <laughs> Blow out. And working on focus so it's easier to get your taxes done. Or anything else you want to do. Blow out. And then it's working on the theme of joy. Like some of us did not come to the earth joyous. And some of us came kicking and screaming, not wanting to be here. And others came acquiescing, but not happy about it. So it's working on connecting us to joyous living, being happy wherever we go, and in any circumstance we find ourselves in, knowing that we have everything we need to take care of it, because we've been blessed. And then with that, so our attitude, we're also a blessing to the world. If you feel like you've been blessed, you bless the rest of the world. Especially if you're willing to give all the blessing away. Knowing that it's a never-ending blessing, so it'll just keep coming. You can't give it all away, but you can be willing to do it. Blow out. If you have a need to hang on to anything, then you're not willing enough to be in the flow. Because if you're in the flow, you'll just get something better.
blow out. Just hold your arms up and let the sense of the stars fill you. And then push down through your third chakra. You know, stuck in the mud, third chakra. Where our self-identity sits, because you're a child of God and you are a child of the universe. They're one and the same. And that goes down into your feet and your feet light up and then it gets so easy to see the path in front of you. And how big you are on the path. Because you're no less than the moon and the stars. Your roots clear. And then the earth rises up in you and marries the cosmos. They kiss and hug and intertwine and mate. And you become a giant on the earth. Someone who walks across the earth with great big strides. Not because you think you're more important than anyone else, but because you see the power in everyone. See that cosmic interrelated earth being and everyone and want to hold hands with all of them and dance to the music of the stars and the rhythm is in your soul You feel the rhythm of the earth and the song of the stars, and they're one and the same. That heartbeat of the earth beats inside of you. And you stand tall with your head in the clouds and your feet in the center of the earth. Fully connected. And fabulous. And you can 
feel your system aligning with it. Spot, hot. Come from spot, hot. That's a new one. I got a call from spot, hot. <laughs> goes along with the theme and you go up in flames it is a righteous holy flame because you can't be but anything else you are a righteous holy flame. You're sacred, and the earth is sacred, and the spot you stand on is sacred, and the spot you will stand on tomorrow is sacred, because the whole earth is sacred. And where people gather and call things more sacred, there may seem to be more energy there, but the whole earth is sacred. And there is sacred energy in every grain of dirt. Every rock, every petal, every drop of water. And what are you composed of? Sacred flame. And steam. You're steam driven. The sacred flame takes that water inside of you and you are steam engine. Powered by spirit. And steam rises out of you. As Holy Spirit intends. And then Master Christ Ryan walks around and kisses everyone on the brow. Let me know when you feel it. You've truly been touched. And he says you are whole. You are as you are created whole. And all illusions otherwise can pass away. Look at those babies laying on Tim. Blow on.
and there is a settling in. You're all centering. And you were given more management skills. How to manage your life. So thank you, big green guy. And then he's taken off. He never talks. He just comes and does things and leaves. And big intergalactic dude is giving you a final blessing. His name is Titium. And he will come and help you anytime you need him. He is a force for good. And he believes in you. All right. How you doing? Did you say something, Lisa? I said that was awesome, Wanda. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Had a lot of help today. So let's go around and um, we'll start with Elizabeth. You got people you want to have? The healing extended to? Um, my sons, Christopher and Michael, my husband, Daniele, all of humanity, my dogs and cat, and all of the animals and plant kingdoms. Well, the whole world. Everyone, everything. Everything and everybody. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Thank you so much. And Jane? Um, my sister, um, Anne, my brothers, extended family my friends i'll go with elizabeth and say the whole world let's let's get it all <laughs> nisa i uh, join uh, elizabeth with the world and the earth uh, also my mother and my daughter joe um my friend patty and her sister eleanor my family and friends Zen and Rocky, and of course, all the animals and people and plant beings, everything in the world. Tim? Uh, both my daughters and their husbands and my grandkids, um, my neighbor Steve, that would be good. Sounds good to me. Neil? Uh, my neighbors, Beth, Athena, and Athena's daughter, Linda, uh, the people in Turkey and Syria and Ukraine and Russia and everybody. <laughs> yep, we got them covered. Miss Julie. Hi. Oh, thank you, Wanda. That was so, so beautiful. Thank you so much. Um, if I could pray for my family and my parents that are both now in spirit, um, those, those who have passed and those that are in need um, on this earth and for everyone, um, I, I would be grateful. Thank you. And Cindy. Hi, 
uh, for my for my parents, my aunt and um, my friend Kira, and also for you know the world in general, the war and peace. It's a big book, War and Peace. <laughs> and for you, Donna. I would like to include my family and all people who are currently in conflict. We hear about Ukraine and Russia, but there, there are many others. And those in Ohio with the toxic spill. Ooh. Good choice. And your family. Oh, I didn't mention them. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. And I'll ask you to say a prayer for my family members, my children as well. And uh, for my contractors working on my house. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to just take all the healing we have especially the parts they need and extend it out. Just think of your people and you fill the flow of energy out to them from that great big healing we just had and that is still ongoing. And it's pretty much going everywhere because you ask for the whole world. So it's covering the world. And you ask for individuals and I see it going individuals, individuals, and it like goes through the whole thing with them. You all feel it? Good. I think I missed some chatting. So let me see what I missed here. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> Yes, I did. I missed you talking about Betty. So we covered mm -hmm. Betty. <laughs> we got her. All right. And we got Zen and Rocky. Mm -hmm. And anyone who had any crystals in their house, they just fired up. Mm -hmm. Yay. So that feels good too. Any what? Anybody who has crystals in their uh, house, they just all fired up. It's like they went whoosh. <laughs> and got stronger and more powerful. They like good energy too. All right, Donna, I think we're about finished. <laughs> I think so. Thank you, Wanda. It was fun. I love all of you very much. And I so enjoyed doing that with you. I am truly blessed. I know that. We are blessed to have yeah. you in our lives. Thank Absolutely. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Much gratitude, Wanda. Much love to everyone, Wanda. Much love to everyone. Thank you so much. Love you, Wanda. Love you all. Love you, all my heart and soul. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank bye. you. Have fun bye with you, your life. You guys still there, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Anything you need? <laughs> mm -hmm.